Welcome to Zoho Books, a powerful financial platform for your business. With the Kenya edition of Zoho Books, you can handle all your accounting needs such as managing invoices, purchases, budgets, inventory reports, and you can also configure your VAT associated to them in your transactions and much more. In this video, we'll see how you can sign up for Zoho Books, set up your organization, and begin your accounting right away. To get started, go to www.zoho.com books and click the sign up now button. Here, enter your company name, email address, the business location will be Kenya, and create a password. Click here to agree to the terms and privacy policy and click create account. Next, enter all your organization details. To enable and create VAT transactions in your organization, you can enable the box, is this business registered for VAT, enter the VAT registration number, enter the date on which you registered for VAT. Click Get Started. That's it, your organization is all set up. You will get a verification email in your registered email address from where you can confirm your account. After signing up, you'll be logged into the Getting Started page. On the left sidebar, you can find all the different modules in Zoho Books. Let's go through each of them in brief. The dashboard will give you a glimpse of your company's financials. Under Items, you can add all the goods and services that you provide in your business. In the Banking module, you can manually add your bank account, import bank statements, match transactions and reconcile your account. In the Sales module, you can add your customers, create estimates, record advance payments through retain invoices, create sales orders for the items that you sell and create invoices for your customers. And you can also keep track of all the payments through payments received. You can also create recurring invoices for your regular customers and store your customers' credits through credit notes. Next, you have the Purchases section where you can add your vendors, company expenses and recurring expenses. You can create and keep track of all your purchase orders and bills. You can track all the payments made to your vendors through Payments Made. You can add your recurring bills here and also track any credits from your vendors through Vendor Credits. With the time tracking module, you can handle project accounting and keep track of all your projects. You can also log time for different users under timesheet, which can later be built. The accountant module will help you keep track of the manual journals, chart of accounts, budgets, and a variety of other accounting transactions. Under reports, you can generate business reports like the profit and loss, balance sheet, and cash flow statements to get real-time insights into your business. You can also choose scheduled reports, share them securely with your team, and also export them to your system in various file formats. In the left sidebar, you also have documents, where you can enable auto-scan and find all the documents you have uploaded from your email address. You can also view your bank statements from here. Here, you can configure the modules you wish to enable on the left sidebar. Next, let's go to settings where you can find additional preferences for your organization. Some of them include configuring your opening balance, adding multiple users and roles, configuring your VAT settings, setting up templates, configuring various integrations and much more. Now that you have a basic overview of Zoho Books, let's look at a few basic steps to set up your organization quickly and start your accounting. If VAT was not enabled while creating your organization, you can configure it from the VAT settings page. Click the gear icon on the top right corner of the page and navigate to VAT. Choose if your business is registered for VAT. Enter the VAT registration number and you can validate your PIN in the iTax portal by clicking Validate PIN. If your business involves in international trade, mark this box. Enter the date on which you registered for VAT and also the date when you want to generate your first VAT return from. Now click Save. Now your VAT settings are configured. If you wish to add additional tax, go to VAT rate and add them here. Under VAT rules, you can view the list of default rules, their association type and the transaction that they are applicable to.
The VAT returns report will be populated automatically based on the VAT transactions that you have created in the organization, which will ease the process of filing your VAT returns. However, we will look about the VAT settings and VAT reports in detail in our upcoming videos. Now you'll have to configure your chart of accounts. You can do this by going to Accountant section and selecting Chart of Accounts. Here you will have a well-defined list of accounts and the corresponding account types. If you wish to add an additional account, you can click the plus new account button here. Choose the account type and enter the account name. Enter the account code and description and click save. Your account is now created. Next, let's see how to add items, which are the goods and services in your organization. To add a new item, click the plus icon next to items or go to the module and click the plus new button. Then enter the item name, unit, its selling and cost price and select the respective accounts to track sales and purchases for this item. You can also choose to track inventory for this item and select the corresponding inventory account, opening stock and opening stock rate per unit. Now you can save it. You can also choose to import your items by clicking here. The import option is also available for other modules such as customers, vendors and so on. Now it's time to add your customers. Go to sales, customers and click the plus new button here. Enter the name of the customer, their company name, contact information, and other details such as their VAT treatment, whether they are VAT registered or not, their currency, opening balance, payment terms. You can also choose to enable the client portal for them. Click here to add their billing and shipping addresses, contact persons, and other necessary details. Click Save. Similarly, you can add your vendors under the Purchases module. To make sure your accounting is intact and continuous, you would need to bring in your opening balances, which you can get by running the trial balance report in your previous accounting software. After getting the report, go to Settings and click Opening Balances. You can follow the steps mentioned here to enter all your opening balances correctly. You can enter the migration date, which will be the date on which you generated the trial balance report in your previous accounting software while migrating to Zoho Books. You can import your accounts receivables for the amount you are yet to receive from your customer and accounts payable for the amount that you are liable to pay. Under each of these categories like assets and expenses, you will find the corresponding accounts where you can enter the debit and credit amounts. Enter the amount and continue. You can also click here if you wish to import your opening balances. Click confirm. Now that you've set up your opening balances, added your items and customers, it's time to create your first invoice. Go to Sales and click the plus icon next to Invoices. Select the customer name. The invoice number will be auto-generated. You can also choose to enter it manually by clicking the gear icon. Enter other details such as invoice date, terms of payments and due date. Next, add the items for this invoice. Here, you can associate or select VAT for the items. Add the customer note and terms and conditions of your business. Then, save the invoice. You've successfully created your invoice. You can integrate with any of the online payment gateways such as ToCheckout and PayPal and receive payments seamlessly from your customers. When you mail your customers the invoice, they can directly pay you by clicking the Pay Now button. You can also choose to record payments for your customers manually. After the payment is recorded, the invoice status will be changed to Paid. 
Now let's get back to the dashboard. Once you start creating transactions, you can view different business metrics here, such as the total receivables, total payables, the cash flow in your business, your income and expenses, your job expenses, projects that you're working on, bank and credit cards that you've added, and your account watch list. You can also view the recent updates in Zoho Books by clicking here. If you use multiple Zoho Books organizations, you can click here and switch to any of them. You can also access your account from here. Hope you've got a good understanding of Zoho Books for Kenya. In the description below, we've added a link to access a 14-day trial where you can access all the features for free during the trial period. So make sure to check that out. We have also added a link of a help documentation where you can get a better understanding of all our features. That's it for now, folks. Have a great day. Thank you.